Hello guys, this is Prajot from Techno World, and for this video, I've teamed up with the wrestling guy, and we are going to tell you about the top five budget smartphones for 2014. So let's get started. Number five, we have the Motorola Moto E. So the Motorola Moto E is a great budget Android device running Android 4.4.4 KitKat and will soon be updated to Android Lollipop. Under the hood, it has one gigabyte of RAM and runs on Snapdragon 200, clocked at 1.2 gigahertz, and gives decent performance. It runs pure stock Android, and if you are on a low budget, this phone is the way to go. And it provides Nexus-like Android experience. So it deserves to be number five on the list. And on the number four, we have the Micro Max Canvas A1 with Android One, which currently does not run on Android One, but surely will get the update by January for the Android 5.0 Lolly. Pop. Moving on to the usage of the phone, this phone is currently running on Android 4.4 KitKat, and as I told you, is expected to get the Android Lollipop update by January, and it works really great. And the phone, as of now, is working very fine. Android KitKat is working very fine, and I have installed over 2 GB of apps in the internal storage directly. And the phone isn't botching since I've been using it for two months. And the Lollipop update will really get this phone going, and will be great for this phone. This phone has a 1.7 GHz quad-core Cortex A7 processor, a 5 megapixel rear camera, 2 megapixel front camera, and the phone works really, really fine. And I hope to see Android Lollipop work fine on this phone as well. Moving on to the build quality of the Micro Max Canvas A1, it has a great build quality. The phone works really fine, and the durability is a good thing in here. Number three on the list is the Xiaomi Redmi One S. So the Redmi One S has a 4.7 inch 720p display and has Snapdragon 400 with 1 gigabyte of RAM, and is currently running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, and will be updated to KitKat soon. But I think Lollipop update won't be there. It runs MIUI version 5 on top of Android, which is RAM consuming. The 8 megapixel camera on the back. is great and takes one of the best images on low to mid end devices so this deserves the number 3 spot on the second spot we got the Xiaomi Redmi Note and this phone actually runs on a great HD screen the Redmi Note smartphone has a 5.5 inch 1280 by 720p display powered by a 1.7 gigahertz processor alongside 2 gigabytes of RAM and a 13 megapixel rear camera now The performance-wise, it has an impressive performance with MIUI and a good camera, a good screen, and a great battery life. Now, this phone has a 3100 million power battery, which is like really, really good because 3100 million power. This shows that the phone will get a big, big battery performance. 1.7 gigahertz octa-core MediaTek processor, 2 GB RAM, internal storage is 8 gigabyte, and the front camera is the 5 megapixel camera. It runs on an Android 4.3, and the skin of the Android is the MIUI version 5. And it's a quite good phone. Number one on the list is the new Moto G. The new Moto G has the same specs as the Moto G first gen. Just the camera has been upgraded, and the screen size is 5 inches now. And there are front speakers. It's running Android Lollipop already, and there's not much to say about it. Comparing it with the old Moto G, it's not a big upgrade, but it's the same price, so it deserves the number one spot. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, and do check out the Wrestling Guys channel. The link is on the screen and is in the description below. I'm not going to